everyone, I am here with Mr. Anthony Anderson. Oh, black uh, Hi, Jocelyn. Uh -uh. Hi, Jocelyn. You just gonna interrupt my show okay. like that? Cool, go. On. Go on. It's black. You just baby. interrupted this is, my this show. This is your blackish moment. You just really did a blackish moment. I didn't interrupt your show. You interviewing me? I said hi to a friend. Okay. You interrupted my hello. <laughs> Come on, Anthony. Okay. Now. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so blackish. What's your mm -hmm. favorite scene in blackish to do? Uh, every scene is, is my favorite scene uh, in blackish. One because you know it, it's it's the story of our lives, you know, and and. Uh, the creator of our show, Kenya Barris, and my partner in this, you know, this is our family that we're putting on the screen uh, every every week that you see. And these are stories that we are lifting from uh, from from our households. Um, so anything I get to do with my children, anything that I get to do uh, with Tracy is, is, is always a blast on our show. So what does Blackish mean to you? What is the message you like to give out to the media and everyone about Blackish? Uh, you know what? Uh, Blackish is personal to me because, you know, as I, as, I, as I said before, you know, it's it's my struggle. It's the struggle of, of my 14-year-old son uh, dealing uh, with his own identity um, because he was born into privilege and because uh, he lives in the suburbs and we're the only African-American family in our neighborhood. And not only was my son the only chocolate drop in his class, <laughs> and he was the only chocolate drop that in his chocolate grade. Drop. Yeah, he was the only chocolate drop in his grade for three years. So. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's what blackish means to me, you know, um, uh, illustrating and, and showing my son that there are many facets of our history, many facets of our blackness. Uh, because he came home one day at 12 years old and said that he didn't feel black. And I understood where he was coming from because his 12-year-old black struggle was different at growing up in suburbia is different than the 12 -year, my 12-year-old black struggle growing up in Compton. Um, and, you know, because... Our family still lives in the hood and, and things like that. He sees the struggles that, you know, family and friends, and he watches the news, and he doesn't see that as a part of his life. Uh, he, at that time, he was thinking that, well, maybe I'm not black enough. I was like, no, son, you, you are. This is your black experience, you know. This is the experience that you're living. And then after that, he told me he wanted to have a bar mitzvah. Then I, <laughs> then I really knew that he wasn't black. It sounds like his dad. Yeah. It's character <laughs> like it. So outside of acting and everything, what do you like to do for fun, just to unwind and just relax? I talk a lot of trash. I play a lot of golf. I talk a lot of trash while I'm playing golf. I cook. I garden. And, and I travel. Th those are the things that, that uh, uh, keeps me at peace. Okay. And last question. Mm -hmm. um, if you could do anything this year that you weren't able to do last year, what would you, what would you do? Skydive. Oh my God, I want to do that too. Yeah, I've been meaning to do it for years and I just haven't had the opportunity or the time. Maybe we should plan a skydive trip. Let's do it. Bring the cameras. For real? Let's do it. Oh my God, I'll be Bring so the dumb. cameras. Look, you heard it here, right for, here first on what? Catch Entertainment Scoop. Anderson, I don't know where, I, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know where I'm at. Scoop. See? Oh, I didn't even know where I was and I said it right. <laughs> hey, this is Anthony Anderson and I'm here with Entertainment Scoop.